we will discuss now focus about the design calculation for the steel storage tank and the concrete tank that is uh, traditionally used in the major industry and specific in oil and the gas and the power generation this is the course is considered as a module one for the uh, whole uh, course which is uh, cover the uh, ensure structure calculations uh, for power generation projects and oil and gas plant we cover every topics about the all the uh, civil and structure engineering in any oil and gas plant and the power generation project or general purpose but in this course we'll focus about the tanks how can we design it for concrete and the steel tanks this is as a general our course outline uh, through Udemy we will cover it in the uh, around six lesson or more but this is the six is the main topics lesson one which we will design the reinforced concrete storage tank how can we uh, design the concrete structure really it will be on the oil and gas plant we have a steel storage tank and also we have a concrete tank concrete tank it will be a different from its functions maybe it containing some liquid uh, maybe just to for the and consider for some processing as an ABI separator maybe from concrete also and also really consider as a tank which is uh, uh, some uh, called uh, a room uh, a valve room it's considered as a tank okay but it will be to protect the room so it's just effect of the earth's work around it okay the another one which in case of the water flood we have some reinforced concrete uh, tank to fill of water for the processing for the water injections and so on so our target to how can we design this tank the another scheme which is the major topics on our uh, online course about the steel storage tank as a, as their abi 650 the first lesson we know will discuss about the types of the tanks in general uh, if it will be fixed roof external floating internal floating and so on and how can we distinguish between them and provide the data really it will be uh, uh, joined between the static equipment engineer and the civil engineer how can we extract the data how how the mechanical engineer working what the data we need from them and so uh, also we cover all the load about the dead load live load about the internal pressure external pressure wind load seismic load and, the, and also snow load that affect the tanks and the others then we go to through about the design of the shell itself how can we design the shell the method of the analysis that could be used for design of the shell we'll cover it with an example lesson four it will be we discuss about the design of the wind girder for the top wind girder or intermediate wind girder how can we choose it and how can we design it in addition to that we have for the tall uh, uh, tank in case of the height of the tank double the diameter in this case it will be affected by the wind so we need to do some anchor anchor of the tank to the foundation so we need to make some calculation how can we define about the number of the anchors and the load that affect the anchor and so on. then we go through the design of the roof and the bottom of the tank uh, and then we cover about the types of the foundations because it is not a similar it depends on many situation how can we take the best decision to define the best types of foundations are suitable to tank and how can we design the ring beam for the uh, tank how can we design it from the sections and the two and we define about the reinforcement of the steel bar and how to avoid the setting so the first part it will be covered about the type of the reinforced concrete tanks what about the type of it if it will be rectangular and circular uh, how can we calculate about the stresses on it 
and also for the rectangular tank we have a solved example to calculate the straining action and how about the shape of the detailing of the reinforcement in case of the reinforced concrete tank. Uh, it is very easy but needs some uh, precaution when doing the reinforcement camp. We discuss about the course. The second main part, we will cover the design of the steel storage tank as per ABI 650. We try to make an overview of it to highlight about the many important items and to provide you the tools and simplify the equations that can provide you a hand how can you design your tanks. The type of the steel tank foundation it will be discussed and also the design of the force concrete ring V foundation and how to calculate the straining action on the ring. Really we have a confused for the, uh, the foundation of the tank. We need to understand the behavior of the foundation of the tank, how it works and so on. Because it is different even when you go to through repair and demand transfer the ring beam, you should have the concept how can you design what about the training action that affecting it. Uh, ready for any civil engineer, uh, when the first question I ask him uh, for interview, how can he design the ring beam? Because if you know how to design the ring beam, he knows the performance and the behavior of the storage tank. He understands what is because it is totally different than the normal foundation that we are designing. Now we need to go to about the steel storage tank, which are our main topics. Uh, this we need to calculate about the load that affect the steel tanks from the dead load, live load, uh, wind load, seismic load, about the snow load, and every load that affected internal and external pressures. Then we need to design about the first. Uh, foot one foot method, which is traditional method. We clarify it step by step by the equation and also the variable design uh, Point method it will be discussed also in case of the tank uh, With bigger diameter will cover it also And then we'll go through how can we choose the best top and intermediate wind together? How can we design how can we choose the best section for it? In case of the high tank, which wins its height, it will be at most the case of double the diameter. In this case, it will be affected by the wind and also the seismic. In this case, the anchor, the anchor, the tank should be anchored. What is the number of the anchor? What about the uh, load that affect each anchor? It will be discussed. The anchor bolt itself, it will be designed later for a special webinar about design of the anchor bolt. But here we need to define about the number of the anchor, how can we design the load of the anchor itself. The bottom we have about the annual plate, how can you choose it, how can you design it, and also the roof design, what about the concept of the roof design. The concept of the roof design, it will be discussed, and also the method of calculating the suitable uh, roof uh, to be with stand with ABI 650. Then we go through the tank's foundation and design the ring B. The major subject for the load, which is the wind load and the seismic design. Seismic design has some special uh, nature in case of the tank because the tank is containing a liquid. So according to seismic, the liquid it will be moved inside the tank. So affect a sloshing effect. Sloshing effect, it needs some sort of calculation, which is clear in ABI 650. We will illustrate it and also provide an Excel sheet to make the calculation of the seismic calculation and also assist you for the ring beam design. During the routine, you can contact me by email to send you this Excel sheet. Uh, for this to, to facilitate you, how can you make the design for the seismic and so on. At the end, if you have any question during uh, the course, I will be monitoring you during the course for any question to raise to me. And also, according to this presentation, if you need some special topic, you have some idea, you have any concern, you can contact me at any time. And this is my website, www.
www.readyman.com Welcome to any question and as we told you this module one then we do have a series of the another view to cover the uh, foundation under vibrating machine palace resistance buildings and the pipe rack design and so on so at the end I need to cover all the uh, civil and structural engineering for the oil and the gas plant power generation project and industrial engine okay so at the end if you have any question let me know and thank you for your time thanks all.